So I'm particularly interested in helping people with nerve, muscle and brain diseases, such as cerebral palsy, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, Charcot-Marie Tooth disease, as well as other conditions such as multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's disease. The data collected in the 1000 Norms project is incredibly important for people with nerve, muscle and brain diseases all over the world because this information just doesn't exist at the moment. For instance, we can measure people's walking speed, their stride length, their base support. These sorts of measures are really important in different diseases such as Parkinson's disease, Duchenne muscular dystrophy and cerebral palsy, which are diseases of biomechanics, diseases of how people walk. So it's really important that we understand what the normal range is so when we have a look at trying to help these different patients with different problems, we can work out if the treatment is working, how it's working, and if it's not working, what we need to do to try and make it better. There is a genuine need for this information all over Australia and all over the world. We have wonderful PhD students here at the faculty working very hard to collect the data. In the 1000 Normous Project, we're particularly interested in seeing how age affects the different measures that we're collecting. So we tend to think that during childhood, we get stronger and able to walk and run faster. During adulthood, it tends to plateau. And then later in adulthood, we're not exactly sure what happens. So we're particularly interested in looking at healthy ageing. I think we're going to come up with some exciting new ideas about what healthy ageing is actually about in our community. And the information we collect will truly let us understand what normal is and what normal healthy ageing is.